Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just sitting here in my family room. I just got all my kids off to school uh, and I have my Rose Girls RTS Mini Melter Haul and I thought I would tell you all about them. I think I just have seven cents. Um, one of the scents I got two bags of, so I will just get into it here. Really cute. Um, they gave me a sample of Unicorn Bubblegum Pop. Uh, I will be melting this in Brianna's room because this scent definitely sounds like Brianna. So really fun that they gave me a scent like that for my kids to enjoy. And it <laughs> smells like bubble gum and like an added fruitiness. I'm not smelling any like fizzy. I don't know exactly what the notes are in this. I just thought maybe pop was like a fizzy pop, but maybe it means like the bubble gum pop. Yeah, it smells like a more, like a more fruity bubblegum, basically. So Brianna will die over this. So super exciting and she'll love that melting in her room. Okay, so I'll do the one that I got the two bags of first here. Um, so that is oatmeal cookie, oatmeal cookie fluff puffs. Now someone was asking on Rose Girl's page how spicy the oatmeal cookie is. And I was actually gonna go ask the same thing because I wanted it to be really spicy. Um, other people were wanting it to not be spicy, <laughs> but I like my spice scents spicy. Um, so I got two of them and her fluff puffs is like a mix of her monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie. It's kind of like a sweet bakery blend that she blends a lot of other scents with. So oatmeal cookie fluff puffs. And it is spicy. Um, oh man, that's so good though. The spice, it almost smells like a really spiced pie crust is kind of what this smells like to me. It is quite spicy, so I'm super happy about that. It's like nutmeg, cinnamon. There might be a little bit of clove in there, but it's definitely mostly like nutmeg, cinnamon, and maybe a touch of ginger, like baking ginger. Yeah, oh man, that's good. I would say it's stronger on the spice than the bakery, but there is bakery in there. Yeah, to me, it smells like you have everything out to make like a homemade sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie or whatever, um, but you don't have any of the pumpkin or sweet potato yet at all. And like you're making a homemade crust and within the crust, you're putting a lot of the spices. Oh, that's really, really good. I wouldn't say I get like oatmeal cookie from it, although I really do love oatmeal cookies with chocolate chips, not raisins. Um, but this is a very nice like holiday spiced scent for sure. Oh, sorry, I don't really know where to put these. Um, the next one I got was Sweet Lavender and Creme de Menthe. I think Creme de Menthe is a new oil for her. Um, if it's not, I just haven't had it before or seen it. Um, I've had her sweet lavender by itself and I don't like it by itself, but I really enjoy it in blends. Mm, oh my gosh. Yes. So I definitely get the more lavender than mint and creme de menthe. I mean, is I'm guessing a mix of like a vanilla cream and a mint scent. So it's not going to be like a nose clearing mint, but this definitely comes off as like a creamy lavender with a touch of mint. So it's really, it's really, really nice. Very calm. The, um, I think if you don't like herbal lavender, you would definitely like this. This is a very like for sleep kind of scent for me. Very calm, smooth, creamy lavender with a touch of mint. Um, so this one I thought would be fun for like fall and winter mornings. I don't usually like blueberry in blends, but um, this kind of gave me the vibe that maybe they used the uh, blueberry pumpkin patch oil. Um, the name of this is blueberry pecan oatmeal cookies. I could be wrong. Like this could be her blueberry cobbler oil that she sells a lot in her mini melters. It's like one of the staple blueberry uh, blends that she has on her website. Um, and blueberry pecan. So maybe it's pumpkin pecan waffles and then her oatmeal cookies blend. I already melted some of this this morning. That's why the bag looks kind of low. I put it in three melters and it was really nice. Um, and I'm not sure if I ended up thinking it was her blueberry pumpkin patch because I love that oil, but it might be her blueberry cobbler mixed with pumpkin pecan waffles that smells very similar to blueberry pumpkin patch when they're blended together. This ended up, and you definitely get the blueberry. You definitely get like a pumpkin pecan waffle vibe with a touch of spice. Like this, 
if I had to have a blueberry scent, um, I, this is like what I would like it in. I actually really, really like this. I get all of those. Like I get the oatmeal cookie, like, um, what I was telling you like before, almost like a spiced pie crust kind of a thing, pumpkin pecan waffles and a delicious blueberry. I really like this. Um, this definitely gave like a holiday breakfast vibe this morning was very like housewarming. It definitely smelled like I was making fresh blueberry pancakes and like coffee and like cinnamon rolls or something. Really, really liked that one. Um, surprising to me because once again, I don't really like blueberry scents. So, um, next one up, I have not melted this one yet. Um, this was new for, I think Jenny said it was new and she said it was amazing. This is Sleigh Bells Ring. And this is supposed to be like the fresh balsam Bath and Body Works type. I've had that candle before and a wallflower of it before. Oh, wow, yeah, that smells just like, <laughs> it has, it smells just like fresh balsam. It has that like, the thing I like about fresh balsam from Bath and Butter is that first of all, it's really strong. So like even in this big like open, open concept, like family room, kitchen, dining room kind of area, you can like melt one candle or burn one candle and you can smell it throughout the entire house. But the thing I like about the actual scent is that I get like, the actual like balsam, like the needles, the wood, um, and like almost a sap, but it's super fresh at the same time, but you get all the parts of the tree. So, so good. I can imagine this one being crazy strong, um, as Jenny's, most of Jenny's tree scents are very, very strong. Um, so this smells just like fresh balsam and I'm so happy to have it. And then one that I think a lot of people were really excited about, which I was also excited, excited about, um, is crackling birch and cranberry woods bath and body works type Jenny's crackling birch blends are in my opinion out of this world. I also have, uh, one or two bags of, well, like one and a half. So I've gone through some of them of just her crackling birch. And if you've had that by itself in mini melters, you know, that that is a crazy strong oil. So when you blend it with something, I always cut like a mini melter in half or a third before I blend it with something because it is a very strong oil that lasts like days in your melter if you have that one. But it's a it's amazing. It's like a very woodsy, uh, smoking, like crackling wood, literal. It's oh, so good, especially with bakery blends. Um, but I thought cr or cranberry woods is not a bakery blend, but it, to me, cranberry woods is like a deep, rustic cranberry. And I thought it would be amazing with crackling birch. Now, I was also afraid that the crackling birch was going to completely take over the cranberry woods, but they definitely did the ratios in here much more cranberry woods than crackling birch. I have this melting in my room right now, and this is amazing. This is just like such a nice, like cold end of fall into winter, like night scent because that crackling birch and the cranberry woods is just deep and velvety and smoky and just beautiful. Um, like I said, melting in my room right now, a moderate throw. I wouldn't say this is like super strong, but it's definitely present, definitely there. And I would absolutely get more of this one. And then, um, I've had Jenny's Mac apple before, which I love. I think it's called Macintosh madness. The one that she puts out. Um, I don't think I've had a mold cider from her before, but she put out a Mac apple mold cider blend which sounded great because I love mold spices very much. Mm, this is so good. Definitely get her Mac apple. Um, but that mold cider is so there. Oh, that's good. I love Mac apple blends and I love mold cider blends. So perfect ratios on this. I don't, I mean, I absolutely get apple like that fresh, juicy Mac apple. And I definitely get those mulling spices, like that hot, that warm, like simmering kind of. Oh, so glad I got that one. I could probably even get another bag of that. That's really, really nice. And then last one here, um, I know is new to their website as well. And Jenny posted about it on the Facebook page about how good she thought it was and how excited she was to be putting it out. So this is her creme de menthe oil, that newer oil, the cotton candy frosting oil and her royal sugar cookie. So I have had her Royal Sugar Cookie and I love it very much. Um, her cotton candy frosting is okay to me. I'm not a huge cotton candy fan. So nothing against Jenny or Rose Girls. I'm like that with every vendor. Um, and I do not like to eat cotton candy at all. Um, and then creme de menthe. So 
So her, the cotton candy frosting hits me <laughs> immediately. I do get the Royal Shirt Cookies, like the base here, but it's not very strong. And I just get the tiniest touch of the creme de menthe. This is like a fun kids mint blend, I would say. Like it's definitely cotton candy cookies with a touch of mint. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost like if you like made a really buttery sugar cookie, topped it with like a cotton candy frosting and maybe even cotton candy on top of that frosting. Like think, think of this cookie we're building here and then like dusted it with like a spray over the cotton candy to make it pretty that had a little bit of mint in it. So definitely like a confection, like a mint sugary, sugary, sugary confection <laughs> kind of a thing. It's good. I think a lot of other people will love that one. Because I do think a lot of people in the wax community like really strong cotton candy scents. And that to me is very strong on the cotton candy. So um, that's it, you guys. That was my RTS. Um, I know I'm so excited. There's a couple um, ro or Teddy B's pre-orders are going to be coming out. Or they're going to start shipping them out this week and next week. So I'm so excited about that. Um, obviously, I put in my Rose Girls Mario pre-order. I don't know. I mean, we only placed that like two weeks ago. So... That is a while till that one comes out. Um, I placed that small, 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 small southbound pre-order. I don't know when that one comes out. Oh, that huge L3 RTS. I went back in three times. Um, I mean, my first order was quite large and then my two other ones were very small, but. So we'll be waiting on that. I haven't, haven't even gotten shipping on that one yet. Um, I put a very, very small bathing garden RTS in. I think that's all that we have. And then I'll be doing probably tomorrow or Thursday, I'll be doing uh, empties. So it's not as big as my last empties. I'll try to keep up with that. So I think that's really all I have coming so far. They're all pre-orders except for the L3. So um, that's the update for now. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, stay well. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you later. Bye.